a solid blob of a material having density twice that of water is suspended with a massless and inextensible string of length m. The whole setup is placed inside a water filled tank. And the bob is imparted a horizontal velocity v0 at the lowest point a while the other end of the string is fixed such that the bob completes a semicircular trajectory in the vertical plane. The string becomes slack only when the bob reaches the topmost point C. Assume that the effects of viscosity and water currents are negligible. The acceleration due to gravity is G. What is the expression for V0? Four options are there. Four options have root to root GL. We know that is dimensionally equal to speed. 5 by 2, 5, 2 or 3 by 2 inside the room. How many, uh, I would say, different chapters are involved here. First is of course circular motion, rotational motion. And see, we need to consider the mechanical properties of fluids here because we cannot ignore the buoyancy effects. Correct? Buoyancy effects cannot be ignored. Now, what change will that bring in, in our analysis? Hmm? Let us first consider the free body diagram of this uh, bob at A and at C. Okay, so first of all, we will the free body diagram of Fbd at C. Okay. At C, how many forces are acting? given that the string becomes slack tension at c would be zero okay tension at c would be zero which means uh, only two forces are going to act first one is its weight okay first one is its weight is mg and what will be the magnitude of the bio and force can anyone tell me that Will it not be mg by 2? Yes. Yes sir. Why is it mg by 2? Because the solid bob is twice as dense as water. Which means water is 50% as dense as that of uh, the bob. The volume is equal because this is completely submerged. The volume of the water that is it is displacing, it is equal to the volume of the bob. Density is half and buoyancy force always acts upwards. So mg by 2 will be the bio force. Now this is an incomplete free body diagram or incomplete in the sense not balanced which means this body must have an acceleration. And what acceleration does it have? That acceleration at the top will be directed. Correct, must be directed downwards and that is centripetal acceleration. So this will be m v c squared by m. Okay, so what did you get here from m g minus m g by 2 equal to m v c squared by l. Is this clear? Yes, mg minus mg by 2 equal to mg yes, squared. Okay, so mg by 2 is equal to mvc squared by L. So vc squared is equal to gl by Okay, and dvc will be root of that and we expect the bottom speed to be greater than that and you can see all options have their values greater than gl by 2. If you square this 3, square this 2, square this then 5 and square this 5. So all, all of them are greater than half. Okay. 
Now, which other thing which we should be considering? Because we have two unknowns here, V0 and VC, and we have only got one of them. ठीक है? तो क्या कर सकते हैं अभी? Yes, Shrey. Can you hear me? Ah, yes, I can. So I can apply the energy to conservation. Yes, we can apply the work energy theory. Or energy conservation. We can say, see, they have said ignore viscosity effects. This means no dissipative forces. which means energy conservation is applicable or work energy theorem is applicable. Okay. Now what does the work energy theorem say? By work energy theorem, between A and C. Okay work done is equal to change in the kinetic energy correct work done is equal to change in the kinetic energy and therefore we can write the following please note that the centripetal force which is perpendicular to speed at any given instant is not going to do any uh, work okay both the centripetal force and uh, the tension because tension is always going to be directed towards the center. Understood? So the, the forces which are going to do the work are only two. The gravity and the buoyancy force. Correct? So we can say mg minus mg by 2 into 2L. Why 2L? Because these forces have constant directions and magnitudes also. As long as it is in the water. Correct? इसका मतलब पाथ इंडिपेंडेंट है क्योंकि कंजर्वेटिव फोर्सेस है तो अगर आप सर्कुलर पाथ से भी जाएंगे या स्ट्रेट जाएंगे वर्क डन हमेशा सेम ही रहेगा वर्क डन इन दिस केस इज नॉट अ पाथ फंक्शन ओके इट इज स्टेट फंक्शन इन दिस केस बिकॉज ऑल फोर्सेस आर कॉन्सेंट ठीक है एंड देन ऑन दिस साइड इट विल बी हाफ एम वी ए स्क्वायर और वी नॉट स्क्वायर माइनस of uh, m vc squared which can be gl by 2 let me know if you understood this yes is this clear yes paka okay now what <coughs> mm. Okay, I guess now it's very straightforward. MM will get cancelled. Okay, let's simplify this a bit. MG by 2 into 2L. So this will be MGL. I'm not writing M now. So GL is equal to V0 squared by 2 minus GL by 2. Therefore, V0 squared by 2 is equal to GL into bracket. Hmm. 2 plus oh wait a second wait a second I have forgotten to include this too sorry my bad this should be 4 correct should be 4 okay so v naught squared by 2 is equal to gl into 1 plus 1 upon ठीक है one plus one upon four and then if you take the LCM it will be five upon four and therefore V naught will be uh, GL inside the root into ten by four or five by two and yes five by two two V naught is 5 by 2 here, root. Yes. 
let me know if you understood this hmm? what we are doing is we are recognizing the concepts required writing down the equations and then uh, applying अभी यहाँ पे obviously circular motion और buoyancy लगा आपको लेकिन जो श्रेय ने बताया work energy principle या energy conservation वो भी पता होना चाहिए आपको I mean you inevitably will apply it but you should have proper explanation as to why are you applying it क्योंकि यहाँ पे dissipative forces नहीं है इसलिए energy conserve हो जाएगी okay I think you people understood it if you haven't let me know otherwise we'll go to next problem 